It feels like we're going 100 miles an hour with everything we're learning, and now we're preparing to go offshore. I'd love to say we are 100% confident, <laughs> but the opposite is true. There's self-doubt in everything we learn. across Clear Lake and get hauled out and slap some paint on this bottom. So that's going to be good. All right, so they just have it on the block and they're going to put the supports under it. It's kind of rainy, so they're going to be able to strip it down over the next day or so. But apart from that, they're not going to be able to paint it probably for three days or so. It's just too, too cloudy. But that's her. Got to replace the name too. Let's strip that off. Maybe we can get him to do it. Hopefully they can do that for us. Yeah, he has a, uh, uh, it is a little smack of a hammer. Yeah, he has a... Yeah, it is enough. I wouldn't repair that. Yeah, they can repair it, but I wouldn't. It seems like an awful small prop for this boat. It's, a 10 by, it's supposed to be 10 by 17. Uh, we got find the right move, you know. Yeah, that stuff, look at that, it just falls apart. So the prop is not coming off. It's uh, kind of soft. You can see it's corroded badly. Electrolysis, right? Yeah. Oops. All in one stroke. Let's fill around. Fill around. Look at that. It's all pink. Uh -huh. It's all pink. We're gonna come. This is Mike Hood. Uh, propeller service here in Houston. And he's gonna help us out with our propeller. Jose got it off. Um, took a little bit of work, but. This old, this old propeller. Well, needs some work. Seventeen ten. Seventeen ten. Sweet. Love it. Oh, is it going to look like that? This is big. Yeah. That's pretty. This is a one hour. A guy right. just came in. The machine. It's the machine pitch prop. Okay. So what's the sailor difference? The Michigan sailor? They're like this. That's real there. narrow. Uh, we don't hardly ever sell them anymore. We are on our way back to the boat. We were supposed to sit in the apartment for the rest of the day and have fun. But a big storm came along. We think of a tornado warning because there's like a big beeping sound. We don't know if it's in this car or not, but we think it's a tornado warning. And we're in a warning zone for flooding. Um, and the entire golf course right outside of our apartment has flooded. It was a little scary with that lightning overhead. I look around and I'm like, the tallest object apart from the masts, the tallest organic object around. Ah. You look like a wet duck. I am pretty wet. I'm probably quite soaked. I'm the mocha's licking me. <laughs> I'm stoked to be soaked. Olivia's uh, is like. All right, I'm gonna take my wet bag off here, and I'm dry underneath. Pretty good. Lucky was your hat. You kept walking in the rain. You know, you get to this level of. Saturation is like whatever. I'm wet, you know. It's like we'll clean it all up later. All right, go back, cheers. Go back. Let's go some food. The bottom's nice and bare. It's real good.
bruh. Jose, how's it going? Yeah, she looks nice and rough. Yeah, I remember the loose paint, you know? Good. Like before it got like paint theater, so yeah. I was blending. When the painting, you don't see anything. Oh, yeah. And I go put three in the one line to make it smooth. Looks good. Oh, you got to make beautiful. Love it. Got a good day going today, too. Oh, yeah, beautiful. What do you think about uh, Jose's work so far? I think he's pretty fast. Yeah, he's done a lot of work I know. in just one day. That's a lot, because he hadn't touched it, I mean, other than washing it yesterday, and everything's ready for primer, I think. Yeah, he's going to be priming it today. It's fast. Already washed it, sanded it. So today is day three out of the water, day two of painting. Jose and his crew are doing a phenomenal job. The gray stripe on the bottom is on and they're starting the black on the bottom. He's working super fast. I think we're gonna be back in the water, hopefully Monday evening or Tuesday. Super excited. So we're really <laughs> excited. Uh, Jose is absolutely amazing. Uh, we have a lot of people at the at the docks tell us he's the man to go to and he really is. We love the fact that it's one flat fee and it covers everything, the haul out, the paint. Uh, he did even extra work for us, helping us remove the prop. He spent a good 30 to 40 minutes with us there. And uh, he's gonna leave all the scaffolding up for us to let us wax the boat. Um, it's absolutely wonderful. Jose's the man, I'm gonna put his contact information down below as well. I don't know what she's doing right now though. So. Don't move. The, uh, is a little scary. We're changing the color scheme of the boat from the original Catalina colors. So we were a little nervous about that, but we're really happy with the way it's turning out. Definitely. Well, hello. Let's, um, this is day three of the painting, and uh, let's check it out. I'm looking at it right now. It looks nice. The bottom is, they're doing a second coat. It looks really good. They've got one of the stripes done. They have to do the other two next. They're actually taking the vinyl off, so let's go take a look. Yeah. Hope the camera can do justice. Yeah. That's good. We have our new New name of the boat just came in, and we're gonna see if we can figure out how to put it on. Oh, it's big. It's big. Oh my gosh, this is so big. Those letters are so huge. You must be blinded by the light. Cutting off some of the dull, and uh, we bought the uh, Ryobi buffer. It's only 40 bucks, and it's working pretty good. Uh, very light touch, it's fast speed, a little more pressure at slower speed, and uh, it's kind of taken off a mild oxidation. The boat's pretty glossy as is, but it's just taken off that little bit of dullness. <clears throat> and we're using this light uh, high gloss polish, McGuire's. It's working pretty good, I don't know. Next up is, uh, we we'll get all the way around, next up is tacos, and then we come back. <laughs> As the sun's setting, and we'll wax it. We came to shine here. Watch it look daytime in the night. We bring the vibes here. We full of life. You keep the change. Keep the change. They hate We're going to get some tacos and lettuce and salsa. Maybe even some queso. I might get guacamole. Guacamole. <laughs> no margaritas, though. No, tired. Too tired. We'll fall asleep. We still have a lot of waxing to do. We'll see if they have a uh, coffee. Coffee. Sweet. 
change, I stay the same You must be blinded by the lights You must be blinded by the lights, lights Gonna do business in the Kima area. This is the place to come right here. Takes absolute, absolute care of you. And uh, great work. Only does two boats at a time, never gets backed up, and walks you through every step of the process. Simpson Yacht Painting. I'll be coming back for my next bottom job. Uh, Jose, master businessman. Another day of storms. <laughs> they just keep coming through 30 knots right now. It's coming from uh, the north. You can see behind me, clear as day. Ooh. I feel like those news reporters that can, can go outside and get blown away. It's looking pretty windy out here. Yeah, so what do you think? I think Josh is going to be mad. <laughs> Josh is going to be mad because we're painting this blue. <laughs> 